Hello, this is the Tachi Bottle Corporation coming at you with another tutorial video. And today I will be showing you guys how to factory reset your Apple Silicon Mac. This is slightly different from the Intel way of doing this, where you held down Command R. This time you will hold down the power button for five seconds while it's off. turns on and then there's words telling you right there to continue holding. There we go. Loading startup box. All right, once you get this screen, it should take a few more seconds to load and then there you go. We'll go to options. So the first thing you may notice is this recovery screen. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to disk utility, hit continue. And then here you will see your Mac, Macintosh HD drive. So what you're gonna do is go to erase up here and then it'll say erase. You can go ahead and hit erase here. There's a couple options here. This is the default. You can do encrypted or case sensitive or case sensitive encrypted. I will leave it on APFS and hit erase. This will give you a little warning. You'll go ahead and just hit erase Mac. Erase Mac and restart. This is telling you that it will erase all media data and settings on this Mac and it'll be permanently deleted and cannot be undone. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll wait a little bit while it does that. This is the general screen you're gonna to wanna to leave it on if you are giving it away or trading it into Apple. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna continue through. We'll go ahead and hit English. It's gonna go ahead and try activating the Mac. It's gonna tell you to do a Wi-Fi network, which is in the upper right corner here. It looks like the little bars, and then you'll join a network. And then once you've done that, you will see the colored in bars in the upper right corner, and then it's gonna go ahead and activate it. It'll make sure there's no activation lock on it, which is what happens when you sign in with your iCloud account. It automatically locks it down to prevent theft. And right there, the Mac is activated. Similarly, if it is account, if it is activation locked, you will have to put in your iCloud password in order to get past this screen. Okay, we'll go ahead and exit to recovery. And now just double check, I will go to disk utility. And then you can see here that there is no data on the drive, freeing up your personal data, especially if you did a, a file vault encryption from people accessing your data that was previously on the drive. So next we will do reinstall Mac OS Monterey. Hit continue. This will be real easy. We'll just hit continue. It's going to load in the information from the internet. Um, it will give you this terms of software license agreement. I recommend reading this once in your lifetime. It doesn't change very much between versions, but there's some interesting stuff in here. I'll go ahead and hit agree. So I have unfortunately read it more than once. And then it'll make you hit agree again, just to double check. And then here you will tap or click on the drive that you're gonna to want to install this to, and then you hit continue. Now this always defaults to three hours and zero minutes. It probably will not take that long with the new Apple Silicon devices being pretty fast. It's already dropped down by 14 minutes. It's only been two, so it's not the most accurate thing. It might just say three hours, because that's the max. I could conceivably see it taking. For instance, when I did this video for the Intel factory reset of Mac, for the Intel powered Macs, it took me like an hour and 40 minutes overall to do the process. While it hasn't been three hours, it has been about 30 minutes. And now it says about a minute remaining and it's been saying this for at least two minutes now. So always take these estimates with a grain of salt. And once that process is done, it will reboot. Once you get to this screen, this is the screen you're gonna wanna leave it on if you are trading it or giving it away. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and get everything all set up so you can see what it looks like. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. You can also triple click touch ID to view accessibility options. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. Um, I don't need that at the moment, but next we're going to connect to Wi-Fi. Next is gonna ask you about your data and privacy. You can just go ahead and click continue, but there is a learn more button, which will give you a bit more information. Next is the migration assistant. Um, if So we're gonna skip this for this particular setup, but we have made a video on the migration assistant. So go ahead and check out that video if you wanna know how to do this process. So we're gonna hit 
Not now. Now it says here to sign in with your Apple ID. Um, for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and skip this. Set up later, and then it's going to ask you if you're sure. We'll go ahead and hit skip. This is the terms and conditions of using the software. Here, as always, I recommend you read it at least once. Then you hit agree. Should ask you again. Hit agree. And then here you will create a computer account. Unlike Windows, when you're setting up, you cannot put in a blank password for Mac. It has to have a password. So I just put in a pretty generic password for this video, and then we'll hit continue. So you can see in the bottom left corner, it says creating account. Next, it will ask about enabling location services. This is useful if you are signing in. That way, um, when you make calendar appointments, it can let you know the best time to leave. It'll let you know when your pictures were taken instead of just where. This can be pretty useful, but since we are not signing in for the sake of this video, I'm just going to hit continue. I'll hit don't use. Next, it will ask you to do your time zone. I'm going to pick where I currently am. Hit continue. Now, this can be nice. If you want to share the information of this machine with Apple, it helps them build better products. It is completely anonymized, so they can't track it back to you. Same thing with app developers. It's helpful for app developers to get information to help fix their apps without you having to put in reviews. Since we're not signing into an account, I'm going to go ahead and say no to both and hit continue. Oh, I did forget to mention that you can click right here to get more information right here. It'll give you exactly what's going on and how they're doing it. Should not have turned back on. Okay, and next it'll give you screen time. This is pretty useful if you think you, if you don't know how much you're using when you're on your computer. If you don't know how much time you are spending on your computer, or if you want to set this up for a kid to help really narrow down exactly where they're spending their time, we're not going to need that for this video, so we're going to go ahead and set up later. Pretty straightforward. Um, if you would like to enable Siri, you can do so here. I don't need it for this video, so we'll hit continue. This would be a great way to start setting up your Touch ID if your Mac supports it. This Mac Air, this MacBook Air M2 has one in the upper right corner. I'm not going to set it up right now, so I can just go ahead and do later. Same. Continue. Next, you can choose your look. You can do the light theme, the dark theme, or the auto theme. I personally like using the auto theme because it's light during the day and dark at night. Now we have the default screen that you will get once you do a fresh factory reset and install of Mac OS. And with that, I do believe that is the end of our how to factory reset Apple Silicon Mac computers. Let us know down in the comments if there's anything else you would like to do the tutorial over next, and we will go ahead and catch you guys next time.